Welcome to the Modern Medicine Movement Podcast with Dr. Thomas Hemingway. Have you ever looked in the mirror and said to yourself, I thought I'd be healthier, in better shape, feel better both physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and be further along in my life? If so, come on this journey with my dad as he explores all things health and wellness from a holistic, medical perspective, even as a classically trained physician. He'll share integrative strategies to optimize health and inspire you to join the modern medicine movement. Welcome, 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 everybody, to the modern medicine movement. So excited, so pumped to be here. Had a great morning. <laughs> just finished up a couple of laps um, on my mountain bike, just getting my exercise in, and it was a beautiful morning. Oh my gosh, but. Whew, I'll be honest, man, I got up and I was just like, uh, not super excited to, you know, pedal up 1500 feet. You know, I did a couple of laps, so I think it's about seven, seven fifty each time. And, you know, the thought of that, you know, that quad and calf burn and all that stuff, just pedal, pedal, pedal. I'll be honest, man, I don't always wake up every morning just going, oh, I'm so excited to do this. I just love it, but but I do it, and guess what? <laughs> I've never once regretted it. It's just been amazing, you know, just getting my fresh air, getting my, my vitamins in, my vitamin D, my vitamin M, my vitamin N, <laughs> my three favorite vitamins. I got them all this morning, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in this podcast, just Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for, you know, sharing your day with me. It just gives me so much gratitude and humility to be able to take this time to share with you things that I've learned, things that have helped me, things that have been positive and beneficial to me, to my family, to many I know, thousands of you guys. It's just an honor. I just want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your busy lives to give me a shout, give me a listen, give me an ear, and to really be on this journey with me. It's super exciting. It's it's a fun time. I'm actually recording uh, first time, kind of like in a live type of situation here with, um, I'll be uploading this hopefully to YouTube if all works out. I'm not the most technologically savvy dude around, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to give it a go because even old guys can learn new stuff, right? So <laughs> hopefully this will all work. I'm just, I'm just pumped to be here to share. It's been, it's been crazy. I think for most of us recently, you know, the last few months have just thrown in lots of twists and turns and uh, I hope it's okay, but I'm going to be a little bit real with you guys today. I'm going to get into a little bit about what's been going on with me, some of my own struggles, you know, things that I've gone through and things that, you know, um, I've learned and things that have been helpful. I, I hope I can share some helpful tips and tricks and, you know, as my son likes to call them, life hacks. He's, <laughs> he's all about the life hacks, how to live better, do better, be more efficient. You know, he's a pretty awesome kid, but uh Anyway, um, wanted to first thank you guys and, and give give my moment of stardom to the listener of the week, I'll, I'll call it, somebody who uh, just uh, put in a review recently, and I want to I wanna just share it with you guys because it tickles my heart, makes me happy to hear you guys are getting benefit. This one uh, is entitled, quote, Mind Blown. <laughs> That's awesome. From... Uh, from what uh, calls themselves Broke Contractor. Thank you, Broke Contractor, for this awesome review called Mind Blown. So let me just just read that. It says, Thomas offers the why these things really matter that I've always found absent from other sources I've looked at previously for health and wellness advice. And he does so in a way that is easy to comprehend. Thanks for sharing all these ideas you've learned. Keep up the great work, double exclamation point. Thank you, mind blown. Thank you, uh, Broke Contractor, for that review. Really appreciate that five-star review. Uh, would love it if more of you guys would would 
do a quick review on iTunes or Apple Podcasts where it's pretty easy to do. Just hit the link that says go to the show. Scroll down to where you see those five stars. Click on the one to the right, number five, five out of five stars. And then there's a little um, link right below, you know, the thing that looks like a piece of paper and a pencil on it. Click onto that thing and just type me up a quick review. Let me know what you enjoyed what, uh, you know, feedback, positive feedback you got. I, I love it. I love reading these things. Got a couple of pretty cool ones come in this past week. And so I'm grateful for you guys. Keep that up. Super pumped. We're just kind of getting started here. So please, please, please share this stuff. Family, friends, people that you know, anybody that you think might benefit from living better, living healthier, you know, it's good stuff. I think we can all benefit. So share it. Feel free. Don't be shy. <laughs> and uh, if they don't know or you don't know already about my new group called the Modern Medicine Movement Health and Wellness Facebook group, it's a free uh, group out there. You're all welcome to join. I pretty much approve everybody universally. You know, as you um, click to join, there's a couple of quick questions. You know, tell me about your health interests, things like that, and I can try to specifically address them. So. Join me in the Modern Medicine Movement Health and Wellness Facebook group. We're actually just starting. Last week was our inaugural first Facebook Live special in the group. I put it in there, and I'll do another one this week. It's looking like we're doing Fridays for now, so um, get pumped for that. That'll be tomorrow. We'll have that in the Facebook group, Health and Wellness, uh, Modern Medicine Movement Health and Wellness. So join that. I'd love to get you on there to to share with me, and it's exciting, cool stuff. So. Thanks for all the feedback. Keep it coming. Please continue to share. Oh, just so pumped for you guys. You can also email me, Modern Medicine Movement Podcast at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Modern Medicine Movement, uh, my website, modernmedicinemovement.com. You can send me a message there. I do read them all, so feel free. Send me some some comments. You can also post in the Facebook group if there's things you want to learn about. I, I read all that stuff. So thank you in advance. Keep the feedback coming. So pumped to just get into the podcast today. Without further ado, this is a little bit more of a right up my alley kind of real life kind of stuff that I'm excited to share. I'm going to entitle this one, My, my Three Favorite Vitamins. <laughs> one second. So what's kind of cool is, um, you know, I call these my, my three favorite vitamins, vitamin M, N, <laughs> and D. And we'll get, into, we'll get into these a little bit. But I just want to let you know that, you know, these really in truth have, have gotten me through some really tough times. I mean, it's, it's been a weird several months, right? You know, the whole pandemic, you know, a lot of our lives have been turned upside down due to that, due to restrictions, due to all kinds of craziness, you know, mental health uh, issues that come about from all the increased stress, you know, being restricted on our use of nature, um, getting out and about with the people we love, people we love spending time with. We've been kind of cooped up, for lack of a better word, right? And it's it's been hard for a lot of us. And, you know, for me personally, it's been a crazy time. You know, I've been going to work full time, right in the mix of you know, this whole business of uh, the pandemic and being on the front lines as an ER doctor as I am, that's been challenging. You know, I work in my full protective equipment, my headgear, my full body PPE, <laughs> as we call it. And it's been a little weird. You know, I, I think it's important. I'm trying to protect myself, my family and all that. But it's it's a little weird, you know, going to work in kind of my space suit, uh, if you will. And I think the the interactions with people are a little different, you know, when you're in the spacesuit. And, and I like to get real. I like to share. I like to relate. And it's it's a little weird out there. But, you know, I'm doing my best to, to serve and to help you guys both, you know, in and out of my workplace and just here live being with you, sharing with you. And it's been a challenge, you know. It's been a challenge for, for a lot of people. I think all of us, really, uh, these interesting times. And for me, both um, to be able to be um, on top of my game, you know, physically, um, as well as, you know, with respect to, you know, mental health and brain health and that wellness piece, emotional health, it's, it's super challenging in times like this where we're not easily able to do our normal thing as 
we once were and, and the strains that are put upon us. And, you know, I'll admit, man, these have been, these have been a rough few months, uh, for me personally, uh, my family, we've had a lot of challenges, you know, with, with both, um, family, you know, immediate family health issues. We've had, uh, family deaths recently and attended funerals and things. And, um, and we've also had some pretty harsh stuff hit us from different directions from, you know, the, uh, you can call them internet trolls. You know, some of them are people we even know that we thought were our friends that are criticizing us and things like that. And it's, it's a rough world out there, but I, I choose to be positive. I choose to look at the cup half full. I choose to move forward. And I'll be honest, it's, it's not always easy. And I'm going to share with you three of my biggest secret weapons, if you will. <laughs> I call them my favorite vitamins because, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of fun to refer to them that way. And I'm just get into it. Just uh, the first one that I love so, so much is what I like to refer to as vitamin N. This is nature. <laughs> this is probably my favorite vitamin. I just can't tell you over my lifetime and especially recently how much I've benefited from just getting outside, even the simple, simple stuff, stuff that I wouldn't have thought would be that beneficial, like just going for a simple walk, simple stuff. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be hiking, climbing, surfing, mountain biking, whatever. It doesn't have to be anything hardcore. You don't have to be uh, <laughs> risking your life or anything. It, it just can be something simple as taking a walk in your own neighborhood. The benefits of that are tremendous. And I just reminded myself, you know, researching for this podcast of, of literally, there's thousands of articles out there on the benefits of nature and the benefits of things so simple as seeing the greenery. Like 100 years ago, they did a study, you know, when they first were starting to to realize this, they they did a study basically on people recovering um, after a major illness, a major surgery, whatever. It wasn't quite 100 years ago, sorry, but it's been quite a while. And they basically took a look at people that had a window uh, in their hospital room that um, either faced like a brick wall, you know, part of the other facility or a window that actually faced greenery, you know, just outside greenery, a tree or whatever. And they found that the people who had access to that window that could see nature or just a tree outside or whatever, that they actually healed quicker, had lots of positive benefits as opposed to those that were just staring at a wall or whatever out their window. And so, so that's one of the kind of classic studies. There's been, I mean, literally thousands of studies. There was a recent one I kind of thought was cool from the UK. Uh, it was entitled Doses of Nearby Nature, simultaneously associated with multiple health benefits. And what I thought was kind of cool about this particular study was that it was kind of done in a more urban setting because not all of us live super rural like I do. I'm blessed to live on a small island in the middle of the Pacific. I mean, no matter what direction I look, even if it's just out my window, it's green. You know, it's the wettest place on earth is kind of our claim to fame. You know, one of the Hawaiian islands there that just... At the top of our island, Mount Waialiali gets, you know, literally 400 inches of rain a year. So we are one of the wettest places on earth. We got green all over the place. And what I loved about this article was that it was looking at more of an urban setting. So this was the UK, this was London. Um, you know, they, they don't have the same kind of rural stuff that I have the blessing of being exposed to on a regular basis, be it on the islands, in the mountains, wherever I happen to be. But this was basically done with folks in an urban setting, just getting out, taking a walk in their neighborhood. Super simple. Um, this was reminded to me uh, also the urban nature of it when uh, last year my family and I visited New York City. And we had the blessing to share it with all the kids. You know, this was obviously way before coronavirus. This was last summer. And we got to go to Central Park, which I thought was amazing. You know, the water sources in there, the trails, the playgrounds. You could, you know, bike or skateboard or just walk or lay under a tree or watch the 
ponds and ah, oh, there's just so many options there. Really, <clears throat> any time of the year, you know, I'd love to kind of see it in the winter time as well with a little snow on. I think that would just be insanely amazing. Then you get the high rises and the backgrounds. I mean, such a dichotomy of views, but but even getting that nature exposure in an urban setting <clears throat> benefited significantly. And this was a um, study with a thousand folks in Southern England. And they looked at, you know, the amount of time they spent out in what they called a private green space, which was basically just walking around their neighborhood. And they looked at health outcomes, which included mental health, uh, physical health, social health. Um, and they found that it was kind of a dose response. They showed that that the more time they spent outside, just even taking a walk in their neighborhood, the lower their levels were of things like depression. And also socially, they felt more connected, you know, with their uh, community, their environment. And it was really, really simple. It was basically a dose response curve that they showed uh, for their time spent basically walking around their own neighborhoods outside in kind of an urban setting. So I thought that was really cool. Um, because it just makes it ac accessible really to everybody, right? We all have something around us outside, you know, even if it's just taking a walk in our own neighborhood, taking a walk at our lunch break, um, at work, whatever, you know, I, I know there's folks who I work with at the hospital that spend a lunch break, just walking laps around the hospital, getting their vitamin D, you know, a little sunshine, fresh air, you know, getting out of that sort of sterile fluorescent light, you know, environment of the hospital. Um, and I think it's amazing, you know, I mean, just the ability to breathe some fresh air, be out in nature. Uh, and it's, it's quantifiable, which is cool. There's studies that show the benefits of just being outside. Their conclusion, they state, quote, we found measurably better mental health, social health, positive physical behavior and nature orientation with greater frequency and duration of time spent in nearby nature, right? So it was kind of dose, dose dependent. The more time they spent outside, and this wasn't like driving out to some cool mountainous area or going to a Hawaiian island. This was just in their neighborhood. This was just outside. They found also, quote, lower levels of depression, uh, greater nature orientation in people, who live in a greener neighborhood. So <clears throat> this is real recent. I think this was 2017, if I'm not mistaken, January 2017, uh, accepted, published in February of 2017. Um, and I just, I just thought that was cool because um, it doesn't have to be something extravagant. It doesn't have to be going away on a camping trip, which I'm all for. I think it's amazing to be able to do that. But just as something simple we can incorporate into our daily life that literally is free, right? Taking a walk around your house, your neighborhood, or your workplace at a break or whatever, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. But a huge life hack. The benefits are tremendous. Tremendous. So get out there. Get some fresh air. Uh, there's lots of studies out there. I read this other one that was super interesting that looked at not just, you know, the visual stuff, like in this article kind of focuses on seeing the greenery that's outside, but also the sounds, you know, the birds chirping, even the measurable um, oscillations or frequencies that are out there in nature with the different sounds of the animals, the rustling of the wind in the trees and all these kinds of things. Those kind of all come together almost in a synergistic way to optimize these benefits that we can get from being outdoors. And a lot of it's stuff that's kind of intangible, you know, for our mind, our emotions, our bodies, our connection. And at the end of the day, that stuff is huge. That can get you through so much. I mean, even kind of simple, weird, crazy stuff like, you know, if I get in a fight with my wife or kids or we have a disagreement, whatever it is, like if I just take a little five-minute walk around the house or around the block or just – right on our property itself and not necessarily leaving to go anywhere. Just that kind of moment to, to pause, press pause, right? <clears throat> Later I can press reset, but right now just press pause and just breathe the fresh air, do some real simple breathing exercises, open my eyes, look around me, look at the beauty, even just look up. Wherever you are in the world, even if it's, you know, 
skyscraper enclosed, whatever, you can look up and usually see a little bit of the sky. And just that in and of itself is eye-opening, enlightening, you know, soothing. It's amazing. Anyway, I digress. But one of my favorite vitamins, vitamin N, as I like to call it, or nature, so, so important. Um, Probably right up there, and I tend to do them together as my next favorite vitamin, vitamin M, (laughs) or movement. I just love, love, love so much any kind of movement, biking, surfing, running, walking, hiking, whatever, dancing, you know, whatever it is, you know, get some movement in. It's so simple. I did a whole podcast on it um, several weeks back. I, I think I called it the magic of movement, and I detailed out more specifically all the positive benefits, but it's, it's more than just the simple physical stuff. I mean, there's a whole system in your body beyond what we used to know and think about, you know, this sort of runner's high from the endorphins and enkelfins that was sort of, I think, in my mind, tip of the iceberg. You go beyond that, there's a whole other pathway called the endocannabinoid pathway, which is sort of like our natural, you know, form of THC, you know, the cannabinoids, right? It's a natural process. We produce them in our bodies. They can actually cross the blood brain barrier, get up into our, our, our brain, our mind, or, you know, affect us at, at a level that, that is just above and beyond, you know, just the actual physical exercise part. It's this natural ability to calm us, to provide us with, you know, soothing, brain chemicals similar to, you know, what exists in THC, but it's our natural process. I'm all about the natural, doing things naturally. And why not through something as simple as getting out and moving for 10 or 20 minutes, you know, a day. That's kind of my goal is at least six days a week moving for 20 minutes a day. Super simple. Yesterday, all it was for me was I took a walk. Wasn't super exertional, but it was amazing. It was outside. It was that simple. And uh, <clears throat> I was in my very own neighborhood. Didn't get in the car. Didn't have to, excuse me, drive anywhere. And I, I literally just walked around the neighborhood. But it was really cool, you know, because I was able to, you know, it was a time where actually my wife and I walked together. We we try to do this at least a couple of times a week. Yesterday we called it our date. <laughs> We told the kids, hey, mom and dad are going to take a a quick date. And we walked around the block a couple of times. And that was it. That was like our date night. It was date, you know, during the day, date afternoon, I guess. But we just took a walk together and we got our movement in. And it wasn't crazy. We weren't running. We weren't panting. We were just walking and talking. And that movement, I think we actually did a couple of laps. Um, It was about 40 minutes, um, which was great because we got to connect We got to feel the sun. We got to move our bodies. It's just phenomenal. This joy, this, you know, feeling of having your body be able to move and do things. And and one of the most important things that I think we can do on a regular, in my mind, daily basis, you know, try for six days a week. I, I try to take one day of rest where I don't do a whole lot, but I'll usually go for a walk that day too, just because I love to move my body, and I love to be outside, to get my vitamin in, right, my nature. And, you know, the benefits of movement or exercise are just, oh my gosh, there's, right, too numerous to count. If you want to hear them all fully detailed, go back and listen to my podcast called The Magic of Movement. I think it was early May, and I just get into the whole pathway through the endocannabinoids, the natural endorphins and kelfins. Also, you release this thing called brain derived neurotrophic factor in exercise. It helps your brain get healthier, improves your memory, may even improve longevity, like through something as simple as just moving, moving daily, you know, 10 minute walk in the morning, 10 minute walk in the evening, or sort of the, the (laughs) life hack that I learned years ago when my wife and I visited Italy, the Italians I don't believe I ever saw an overweight Italian the whole time we were there. We did a couple of trips over the years and, and it's insane. I mean, these people are so healthy yet they eat and eat and eat and have a tremendous diet, which I love. It's full of just fresh, healthy, real food, 
meats and cheeses and rich. You know, everything is fresh pressed olive oil and just natural whole stuff. And yet these people are thin as could be. But one of the things I notice about these Italian people is they walked everywhere. I rarely saw them running, but they were walking and almost without fail, you know, they'd sit down, they'd eat this nice family meal that lasted an hour or two with all these courses, you know, the antipasti, the pasti, and all this stuff, the postre. And, and then afterwards, they'd just go walk for an hour. <laughs> and I'm not saying we got to walk for an hour. How about every time you eat, you know, a meal, then get up, walk for 10 minutes. It's not long. Like if you got a 30-minute lunch break, 20 minutes you can sit back and eat. And then for the last 10 minutes, just walk. Walk around your building Whatever it is, your facility, if you work at home, walk around your house or your neighborhood, just do it for 10 minutes. And I promise you that will not only invigorate your body, but it will invigorate your mind. And I just, I can't overemphasize the huge, huge benefits of something so simple as walking. It helps with brain health, as I mentioned. It reduces the chances of getting things like dementia and Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, all these neurodegenerative things. Exercise is so helpful. And if you have any of these conditions, exercise helps them so much. In fact, I just read a whole stack of uh, papers specifically addressing folks in the elderly you know, care homes that, that would benefit so much by daily movement and actually daily outdoor exposure that a lot of the more sort of advanced or you know the places that are really trying to trying to do state-of-the-art stuff are trying to get their um, residents to get outside every day even if it's just simple to get some ultraviolet radiation get some sunlight you know get some fresh air and trying to get them to move every single day and this tremendously helps these folks in care homes and and it also obviously tremendously helps us it helps any age if you got young kids get them outside get them moving get them active (laughs) it'll help their sanity and it'll help your own because they're gonna sleep like babies at night i mean it's it's awesome there's just just increased you know energy and connection and you know being able to have that you know, just natural endorphin and kelvin, cannabinoid, you know, flowing through your body freely through something so simple as taking a walk. It's really that easy. It's awesome. Oh, it just gets me pumped. I think I'm ready to get outside and get, get out for another, another walk I, or, or anything. Just get, get, my, get myself outdoors. I just, I can't overemphasize that enough. Just get out and do it. It can be so, so simple. Take 10 minutes after each meal, Uh, Or just twice a day, 10 minutes at one meal, 10 minutes at another. And then that's your 20 minutes of exercise right there, just right after you eat. It feels amazing. Try it. Try it. Tell me, tell me, tell me how it goes for you. If you love it, you hate it. I want to hear everything. But it's, uh, oh my gosh, you'll, you'll love it. Movement is so key. If you haven't followed my wife, Brooke, um, at Hemingway Half Dozen, she has this thing she does called uh, uh, Six for Six. And she posts a lot of workouts. She exercises six days a week. And like I said, yesterday was super simple. She didn't go for a run. She walked with me. And I felt pretty special. And we both enjoyed that. It was awesome. Anyway, I'm getting down to my third favorite vitamin here. And this is actually a real vitamin. (laughs) Vitamin D, which, uh, oh my gosh, I love, 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 love vitamin D. And I love it, especially if we can get it naturally from the sun. And right now, um, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, we're still in this you know, sort of summertime where we can get plenty of vitamin D. And it's so, so helpful for us in so, so many ways. And you know, I did a whole podcast on this um, kind of early on. I think I was ahead of the curve. I was already sort of predicting um, the utility of vitamin D with coronavirus. And it was like, It's kind of interesting. (coughs) Sorry, I got a dry mouth here. Um, It was sort of interesting because I, I, not on purpose, but I was kind of, I noticed, you know, in my own life, the vitamin D benefits, but I'd done some research and reading on how it can enhance our immune system and so on. And then (laughs) I kid you not, like I pushed publish on my podcast, what have you. And within a couple of days, there were all these studies 
showing up saying folks with higher vitamin D levels did way better if they got coronavirus, they fared way better. It also helped people to not get coronavirus so much. And if they did get it, they got a you know much less severe case. So vitamin D is awesome. <laughs> uh, it's so helpful for immune health. It actually, it's involved in so many pathways in our body. It's a fat-soluble vitamin, as many of us know. It crosses um, the membranes, gets into the nucleus. It affects gene transcription of literally thousands of genes. And you can get it for free. Look at this, guys. I'm giving you three amazing life hacks this week. My vitamins. Vitamin D from the sun. Vitamin M from movement. Vitamin N from nature. All three of these life hacks, these vitamins, as I like to call them affectionately, are free. And they can affect your life tremendously. Vitamin D is amazing. I recommend getting a little bit every day if you can get outside. You know, if you can easily take your shirt off, try to get a little bit more exposure. Don't roast and fry yourself like I can easily. I'm pretty fair skinned. So I get, you know, maybe 20 or 30 minutes at a time and then I put my shirt back on because <laughs> I don't want to get, you know, get to where I'm hurting because I got sunburn or whatever. I, I think that it's so important to get our dose to be effective to get our vitamin d levels up um and to do it naturally if at all possible i'll, I'll admit this winter um i spent a little bit more time in a different region and sort of a mountainous area where i didn't get as much sunshine so i was supplementing um with natural uh vitamin i was supplementing with with a natural supplement um, that had vitamin d in it and D3, that's the active form that you want to get. And I, I talked all about it in the podcast. So I'm not going not gonna to belabor that since I already spoke ad nauseum about it. But what I want to just emphasize is that it's so effective, so helpful, so easy to get. I mean, 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, if you can get outdoors, is not only helpful if you're in nature, but a little bit of sunlight too is amazing not just increasing the vitamin D levels, which it will do, but just the ultraviolet light from the sun. We know that it helps immune cells, like the natural killer cells. You've heard of those as part of our kind of innate immunity. That's the ones that, that are there, right there, ready, sort of our first line of defense. <coughs> Sorry, man, I just got a dry, dry, uh, dry mouth here. Too much talking. I better end this soon. Um, our natural killer cells, first line of defense, ultraviolet light, which is just being outside, actually increases their activity. What? So simple. So awesome, awesome stuff, guys. Also for our biological clock, which I've talked about in a previous podcast on circadian rhythm, getting that natural sunlight exposure is so crucial, um, so beneficial, really, because it affects our time clock and that is hugely important to our health as well. So as much as you can, 10, 20 minutes a day, if you can get a little bit of sunshine, it's just so amazing. So amazing. It does so much for you. Oh, my gosh. It. I think, who was it? Um, I was listening to a podcast, I don't know, six months ago by, uh, I think it was Dr. Uh, Daniel Amen. And he had uh, discovered this on his own as well. That vitamin D was super crucial for, of course, your brain, right? He's a big brain guy. Um, and he was kind of he was curious about it, so he got his own level checked. And he lives in California, and he was like, oh, my gosh, my level was kind of low. So he he actually <laughs> made it a point to you know, get a little bit of sunshine on a daily basis. And I think he even supplemented uh, as well to get his levels up because what he found is with your brain health, it's so important as well, not only for your immune health, as I mentioned a little while ago, but for your brain health. And basically that it was directly proportional as you got your vitamin D levels up, a lot of your cognitive uh, abilities enhanced. Um, and he found that this was also inversely proportional to things like breast cancer, colon cancer, autoimmune diseases, MS, uh, things like asthma, eczema. Also, this is pretty well known, but uh, mental illness or brain health, things like if you're depressed, anxious, things like that, the higher the vitamin D level you have, 
the less incidents or less chance you have of, of getting these kind of depressive illnesses, which I think is a twofold thing. I think it's when you're outside, right? Naturally, you get sunshine. It makes your vitamin D level go up. But at the same time, you get all the benefits I described earlier from vitamin N, if you will, right? The nature aspect. So these things all work together. It's beautiful. It's synergistic. They play a part together. In fact, the three favorites that I'm mentioning today, movement, nature, and really sunlight or vitamin D, one-stop shopping, guys. They're all free. You can get them one foul swoop together. Go out for a walk. Boom, check box one. Movement, check box two, out in nature. Even in your own neighborhood, your own vicinity, around work or at home, as I mentioned, still just as awesome. And in check box three, sunlight. All at once, this is a slam dunk, triple threat, and it's free, and it's awesome, and it's amazing. So go back, guys, listen to the podcast on vitamin D and on movement, and and uh, just refresh your mind, circadian rhythm, how these things are so crucial, yet so available, so easy, and honestly, just the magnitude of the positive benefits you get from them are incredible. It's really helped me so, so much throughout my whole life to get outside, to get moving, to get my sunlight exposure. It's really, I mean, I'll be honest, it's literally saved my life on several occasions to get these things into my life. And it's affected my personal health, emotional health, mental health, brain health, psychological health in a (sighs) tremendous way. And I want you guys to take full benefit, full access of this, which is literally available for free at your fingertips almost each and every single day. So let's get out there, guys. Let's move Let's get our sunshine. Let's get our dose of nature, whatever it is. It can be around in your community, as I mentioned. It can literally be Welcome to the Modern Medicine Movement Podcast. Oh, that was awesome. Your neighborhood. (laughs) This is the real deal, guys. This is it. It is simple. Life is simple, life is good, the tremendous benefits you can get just are at your reach, within your reach, within your fingertips, so go out there and go get it, get your movement, get your nature, get your sunshine, it can change your life and it may just save your life as it has mine on several occasions, even very recently, Um, and I'm so grateful. So grateful that we've been blessed to be in a world that is habitable, that is amazing, that despite all of the problems and the drama, you know, just take a walk. Let your mind just absorb and soak it all in, including a little bit of sunlight, and it will change your life. It will help you benefit in so many ways and for this guys i am so grateful so get out there and get your three vitamins movement nature vitamin d and tell me how it went share something with me i'm actually in the process of writing a book and i'd love to get some personal experiences from some of you guys and how some of these things have helped you out so shout it out to me aloha